Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Odoo, an open source business suite, on Linux. To get started, launch a terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Next, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages. Then we'll install Postgres to use as the Odoo database. We'll make sure the Postgres service is started and enabled, then we'll connect to the database using the command line interface. Now we'll create a Postgres user for Odoo to use, as well as an Odoo database. Then we'll close the connection to Postgres. Next, we'll use apt install to install Python. Now we'll create an Odoo user account in the Linux operating system. We'll create an opt Odoo directory and we'll set the Odoo user as the owner of this directory. Using the su command, we'll switch users to the new Odoo account. Now we use the git clone command to pull down the Odoo source code from GitHub. We'll create a new Python virtual environment and activate it. Then install the wheel package. Now using the pip package manager, we'll install the prerequisite packages needed for Odoo. We'll create an empty odoo.conf file. Then we'll write our database configuration to the new file. And finally, we'll start the Odoo process. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 8069. Log in with the email and password admin. Click the user icon at the top right of the screen, then select preferences. Update the email address and signature as needed, then click save. Navigate back to the user preferences then select Account Security. Click Change Password, then enter Admin as the current password. Now enter and confirm a new password and click the Change Password button. Log back into Odoo with the updated email address and password. Now that we've updated the admin credentials, let's take it a step further and set Odoo up to run as a service. Navigate back to the running terminal and press Ctrl C to kill the running process. We'll start by exiting the Odoo user shell. Then we'll create an Odoo service file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the service configuration from the video description and paste it in the nano. Save your changes and close the editor. Now we'll reload the systemd services and start and enable the new Odoo service. Navigate back to the open web browser and refresh the Odoo web interface. Log back in using the updated admin credentials. Welcome to Odoo, running on your Linux device.